energy. It is one of the most precious resources that we have here on Earth. But what happens when we run out of it? Hi, I am Olympia Lapointe, your modern day hidden figure and your rocket scientist showing you great science innovations across the world. So today here on Answers Unleashed, we're going to find out about something so monumental, so innovative that it's going to help save energy across the globe. Now, my question for you is this. Do you know what Thomas Edison was doing? And do you know what he was doing in invention after the light bulb? Well, today you're going to find out. I'm here at ADC Energy. It is a location and a company helping conserve energy. Now, let's look at this on a bigger scale. We have nuclear power plants no longer being on the grid, so they're not able to produce as much energy. We have energy efficiency problems and people are losing energy. Solar panels do not allow long distance travel of energy. So the question is, what can help us create and conserve more energy so we don't run out? ADC Energy has the answer. So today I'm here and I'm so excited to be here with Henry Lee. He is the CEO of ADC Energy. And what ADC Energy has done is it has taken uh, I, it has taken Edison's technology, used the resources that we have with current energy travel, and created a new system that allows us to use energy in a far expansive way that we're going to find out in a couple seconds. Hi, how are Hi, you? Thank you, Olympia. Thank you for having us. Well, great. I'm so happy that here you are here and going to share with us this groundbreaking science that you've created, especially here with our Answers Unleashed audience here. Now, tell us a little bit about what your company does. Now, for what I understand, your company has created a new way to take Edison's DC energy that he has created, use the AC platform to share it in large, massive distances, and that allows us to conserve energy. Explain what this technology is. So when you go back to Edison, we all know his greatest invention was the light bulb, but he was working on something more fantastic than the light bulb, but he ran out of time. So what was that exactly? That was long distance transmission of DC power. Edison ran out of time. ADC energy is a new form of energy where we have two critical functions, one of which was to complete Edison's final project. So this DC power, what does it stand for? What does it do? DC power is direct current, and then there's AC power, which is alternating current. Uh, AC is what you see on the electrical wires on the street. DC, for lack of a better description, is battery power. Battery power. So the AC has its issues. We have high voltage, uh, we have burnout, and there is energy being lost. So you actually have developed a way for the AC to actually carry the DC current, and it's through this system yes. here. I'm so thrilled to show you our brand new form of energy. This is where the magic happens. Ah. This is where AC power comes to power our batteries. And from here, our system creates the magic where DC power is piggybacked onto existing AC power on existing wires. Nice, and what is this right here? This is called our ADC chargers. The chargers work in conjunction with the batteries and through this system, from the batteries, we have DC power piggyback onto existing AC power. So these are the wires, the AC power that we currently have in our household. Correct. This would be a reflection, an example of existing AC wires. And we've taken the wires so that you can all see so that they're into this plug. This plug is flowing a new form of energy, ADC energy. A new form. Correct. This is AC and DC coming out of the same plug. Same plug. Now, now this is the regular uh, outlets that we'll have in our home, yeah, right? Yeah, so this is um, a regular strip. This strip is plugged into the AC okay. outlet. And if we turn it on, you'll see this is an AC set of bulbs. So it's being powered by AC power. However, this is a DC set of bulbs. And if we put it into the same plug, you now have AC and DC coming out of the same plug. Now, what is the benefit of us running a DC line instead of the AC line? Well, that goes to the second critical function. The second critical function is because we do this simultaneously, not only can you access it together, this is long distance transmission of DC, which is very important for solar energy because solar panels 
generate energy in DC power. So solar panels that ener generate energy in DC power would benefit from having this particular system which uses less energy. Correct. So from a solar panel that generates in DC, there's no conversion loss. It would go straight into our batteries. And then from our batteries, AC and DC would flow into a facility and basically take it off grid, which means off the utility. So if I'm understanding this correctly, you're looking at being able to power large buildings then with this type of energy. Correct. That's into our next phase. If we can make the windows into solar panels, which that technology exists, they would travel the DC long distance into our batteries. And then from there, it would flow AC and DC. And you have boosters also. So now these boosters, from what I understand, this is able to take the energy into long range locations that our current power grids are not able to do. Correct. So this would be the long distance transmission of DC. What you'll see is the light here is a DC okay. light that we created. And then the wire between the light and the plug is 250 feet. Wow. So our booster is off right now. Oh, it's off. It's off. So when I turn it on, you'll see. Oh my God, there's the more energy. Has, <laughs> That is DC power traveling long distances without the grade. So it literally boosts the energy to far Correct. distant locations that current AC technology does not, AC energy doesn't do. Correct. This is before ADC, this is after ADC. We've taken DC power to unprecedented levels. So what you are saying is a solar panel to power a remote house in the jungles of Africa, come into our system and then power AC and DC taking houses and buildings off the grid completely. This is so the holy grail of solar energy. A remote person in like the mountain area that has no access to anything, you actually can use this technology to get to them as well. Correct. Think remote villages in Africa, in or, the jungle. Or we can think of uh, different other areas that would benefit from this. So this is great. Now, uh, now our electronics that we have, our electronics, our phone, our, our computers, our, our areas that we have this technology, it uses DC energy, doesn't it? Correct, and if you all know, you have a little plug called the AC converter, and that plug converts the AC from the plug into DC power, and if you know it gets hot, that's waste. Ah. And then it becomes DC to charge the batteries in your laptop or phone. So if we have the DC coming directly, then our actual electronic devices actually work directly off of that. You have a pure DC signal from plug to your laptop or phone without the converter. Without the converter. And DC actually is cleaner than AC energy. How is that? Correct, because DC is basically a flat signal. Okay. AC actually oscillates, so when you oscillate, you have surges. That's surges. Like a surge protector. That's why your TV can fry. Which That's is why your bulbs dangerous. Can pop. Correct. Ah, so this actually is a safer way of actually using energy that all of our electronics use, as well as being able to power far distances and larger amounts of area. Correct, and safety on top of that, your electronics will last longer. Ooh, did you hear that? Now, I'm always impressed with people who are able to create this, and you are the chief executive officer yes. of this company and the science innovator. The one that was able to look at Thomas Edison's technology is here today. Correct. I'm the CEO, but the heart, soul, and the brains of our company is our inventor, Mr. Hun Choi, and he's here with us today. I'm sure. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your technology here with our Answers Unleashed audience. Now, uh, this is groundbreaking because you're able to take uh, Edison's last work and use our technology of our current electronic systems to be able to carry DC energy on the uh, AC power line so it travels longer distances. Now, if I know if your story correctly, this actually came to you you had a prayer to be able to help people in a massive way. And this information came to you first in a dream, and then the science came about. I love that. Can you share like a little bit more? Uh, yes. Uh, I got a, a dream in the, the 2012. Uh, someday I got a dream, then wake up, then study. The, this uh, develop. So I take some 
time, but let's make it done. <laughs> <laughs> so in this dream, you actually got the idea to actually carry this through. And what I so love about your story is that sometimes, and Answers Unleash audience, please make note, sometimes science comes from uh, the intuition and the faith side of us, and then it is up to us to figure out how we can be able to create something like this here on Earth for the benefit of everyone. So thank you so much for the thank great you. science in which you are introducing to us. And thank you so much, Henry, for being here and describing this great science to our audience. And how can people find more about you and this company? Uh, we can be located at www.adcenergy.org. And there's a lot of information in our story. And I want to thank you thank for you. visiting. Thank you, thank you. It's very my honor to share great innovation here with you today. So I am Olympia LaPointe here with you on Answers Unleashed, and I'm so excited to share this with you. Check us out at AnswersUnleashed.com, and until next time, let science and faith guide you to finding the innovation that's going to change lives. I'll see you next time.